Like this video and subscribe. And don't forget to visit allforreborns.com to adopt your reborn baby doll. Peace, you guys. This is All For Reborns, and I'm so excited to give you an update to my silicone baby collection. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you and telling you about my silicone babies that I have remaining in my collection. Uh, this does not include my reborns. I'm going to do a separate video for my reborn collection just for sake of time. So these are my three silicone babies. Um, I used to have five, but I no longer have Snow and Nehemiah. If you've been following my channel, you already know that I adopted them out earlier this year. So my remaining babies are Silicone Baby Winter, Silicone Baby Theo, and Silicone Baby Rocky. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about them and I'll try to do my best to tell you how long I've had them in my collection, but I have a box opening video for each of them if you want to check that out too. All right, so this is Silicone Baby Winter. Um, she is the Chantel Sculpt by Olivia Stone and she is a sold out limited edition doll. So there's really only one that looks exactly like her. She is a one of a kind doll and she, I got her in I think 2000 and... 14 or 15. She's a full body silicone baby. She's sitting here holding one of her favorite dolls and this is a cute little outfit that I changed her into on a live video on Instagram and she's just a real joy to have in my collection. Uh, winter is so much fun. She has an open mouth that can take a pacifier and she even has like a little tongue in there but it's always so hard to show it on camera but um, she has rooted hair I have had to reroot her hair once because she was losing hair she's about four years old though so that's to be expected and if you guys want to meet her this summer you can meet her at the Rose Doll Show I'll be there in booth 222 I'll be at the Florida Doll Show the IDTS I'll just be walking around though won't be in a booth so catch me if you can and I'll be at the Kansas City the Kansas Doll Show in Wichita, Kansas in September and then lastly the Phoenix doll show so I am planning to take winter to all of those the Phoenix doll shows in October all right so that's silicone baby winter and here is Theo Theo is the Tristan sculpt by Tasha Edenholm he's a full body silicone baby he is super super duper chunky and both of these babies are anatomically correct and there's his little feet down here his little squishy guys and um, he's a very chunky guy he has a sculpted mouth as well that's open and can take a pacifier and um, he doesn't have a tongue though but what's cool about him is I like to do this to his cheeks and then something I recently discovered is if you push in his lips look he holds that pose <laughs> like a little sucky face like babies do so it's just like a little suction thing I just figured that out recently just playing around with his face that's so funny all right um but yeah he has rooted hair as well now Theo is in my collection but I'll be honest that I am considering adopting him out um I just kind of want to downsize my silicone baby collection more and I'm not sure if it's going to be Theo or Rocky that goes next. It's a really uh, hard decision for me. So if you are interested, uh, reasonable offers only, of course. Um, I'll tell you, if you email me, I could tell you what I'm considering for him. I will take a reasonable uh, offer for him. But for right now, he stays because like I said, I'm not for sure. Not for sure. All right, and then my last silicone baby is Rocky. He is the um, the boy Zadia sculpt, I believe, or is it? Z I think it's Zadia. Yep, Zadia sculpt by Claire Taylor. And so he's a boy. He's full body, anatomically correct. I got him. Oh, I got Theo about um, a year and a half ago, and I think I also got Rocky about a year ago. So they're newer to my collection. And um, Rocky, I got him um, about a year ago. He's in great condition, really fun, full body, anatomically correct. He has rooted hair as well, um, just really amazing. So, and he can take a pacifier, but I really don't like to put pacifiers. I really don't like to put pacifiers in a lot of my silicone's mouths. I don't know if you guys have noticed, I'm not 
a huge pacifier person when it comes to my silicones but I do do it occasionally but not really with Rocky just because of all the stuff that's in his mouth I don't know guys I just get nervous that I'm gonna mess it up <laughs> so um, but he's beautifully sculpted and what I'll tell you what I like about having silicone babies because people um, always say what do they feel like I, I really like that they give you more of the weight of um, a solid feeling than a reborn now a reborn can be weighted to feel like a real baby um, some of my reborns feel so realistic like um, Serenity and Lola and um, some of the other babies Ava pretty much all my babies are weighted to feel very realistic the only difference is a silicone is more of a solid like um if like you know if they say like a kid like oh he's solid like he's just very solidly weighted i don't know how to describe it if you don't know what i'm saying but that's the way i would describe them it's more of a solid weight that's more evenly distributed and um yeah so and then also they're bendable posable you can give them baths you know you can just do a little bit more things with them but i would say i like them as equally as my reborns in fact um i could in the future not saying anytime soon with the exception of winter i could just have winter and reborns and just be just as happy as i am having these guys in my collection too so anyway guys this is my silicone baby collection and i'm so thankful and i feel so blessed to be able to have these guys in my collection and i thank you guys for supporting my channel and uh, liking and subscribing and all that you guys have done because you guys have been a big part of the journey with me and thank you guys for coming along with me as i collect and uh, as I collected these little babies so I will see you guys in the next video let me know which one is your favorite if you have one and peace and love everybody do you want a chance to win this baby plus have amazing rewards and live chats with me come on over to patreon.com forward slash all four reborns and special thanks to these Patreons for making videos like this possible. And today's Notification Squad shout out goes to Dana's Reborn World XX. Thanks so much for being one of the first ones to comment on my last video. Hey, if you want a Notification Squad shout out, be a subscriber and click that bell and be one of the first ones to watch my next video. Hey, Aunt Mommies and Uncle Paws, thanks for watching. But don't go yet. Click on another video. And don't forget to come back tomorrow to see more of our adventures.